Okay, so this is part two of lab three of system programming. Um, so we were given this file and we were given this hex file and um, this code is supposed to read the text file and count the number of um, characters and then output uh, the file size. Um, and so yeah, is it the, the program just reads, or I mean, uh, opens it for reading, and then in this do while loop, it'll uh, increment file size until end of uh, end of file is reached, and then it'll output it. But something is going wrong, and we got to kind of fix it. So first things first is we can we can um, compile to see if anything happens when we compile it. So we get no compilation errors, which is good. And then I guess the next kind of course of action is to run it to see if anything happens. So it's running and uh, it is doing things, but from experience, um, We know that this is going to take a, a, a while um, because uh, the sleep function within the do while loop is making us wait extra time every time it goes through the loop. Um, so it should just take a sec, but I also know that this is infinitely looping and I could sit here for 10 minutes and it'll still be doing this. So. I think we gotta just quit out. And <clears throat> this is the uh, text file, if I didn't show. It just says, hello, weird character, hello everyone. So it shouldn't take that long to read every character. So something else is happening and it must be looping infinitely, but let's use GDB to kind of find out. So um, we can, Use GDB. So we opened up GDB, um, and then we can we can run the uh, text file to see kind of what happens. Okay, so the text file is being ran. Um, we'd start by. I like to start by like maybe printing um, the value of FD uh, to see if it's recognizing the text file. You know, maybe that could be happening. So I'll go print FD. Hmm. Wait a minute. Um, I think we just gotta, here, wait one sec. Um, let's make a, let's make some breakpoints. Break main. Okay. Um, break, you know, let's make a break at, uh, 19, no line at 19. Uh, what are you talking about? Um, so, okay, well, let me try running it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, run sample.txt. Okay. Um, so, I hit the breakpoint. Now, uh, let's. Let's uh, print print uh, value of FD. Wait, did we run it? Wait, display FD. Um, wait, 
print arg v1. Okay. Um, I guess this is what I meant. So it, it, our, the, our first argument is the example text, so that's good. Um, the next thing we could do is print um, another variable that we're using. <clears throat> so car ch. Let's try that. Okay. So this one will be changing within the loops. So we could just keep going next, next, next to kind of see if it changes. I'm trying to see the value of CH. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so the first value is H, you know. So we should see hello, and then hello again, and then everyone. So just keep going. Next. E. L, L, this might take a while, sorry, new line, okay, so it is, it's, it's going through the, the text file, H, again, it was doing these weird symbols because um, of that weird Y with the two dots on the end. Okay. Oh. One more word. Or is it, these are the spaces. So, um, what it's supposed to do at the end of this loop is return uh, the end of file, which should be negative one. Um, but you will see what will happen. Okay, this is so we should be seeing end of file. Oh, dot new line. Okay, it's normal, I guess. Three seven three seven or three seventy seven. Okay, just just keep going. So as you can see, the file is not ending as it should, and there is a reason for that. So GDB let us find out that it's infinitely looping here, but now we got to figure out kind of why. So let's take a look at our program. So it's supposed to get a character, up the file size, sleep, and then it ends when end of file is reached. Now, we know that end of file returns a negative number, usually negative one. Um, but if we look up here, unsigned car ch, unsigned means not negative. I think it could be a value between zero and 258, something like that. So um, so the this statement is never being reached. Um, because ch can't be a negative value because of this unsigned part. So I think the easiest thing we could do here is int, make it an int instead. And then um, I could run it in, in no machine, but I think that's kind of annoying. So I'm actually just gonna run it in VS Code. So this is the same program. Um, Everything's the same, but I added two print statements so we could kind of see what's happening when we run it. So it'll just every iteration, it'll uh, show us the file file size and then which character is being read. Um, and let's let's change this to an int like we did in No Machine. So save it, um, compile it. Cool. 
and now we can run it. Okay, first, add zero, it's an H. One, E, L, L, O, space, or I mean new line. This is the weird characters. Hello, space, every. And it is taking a sec because of the, the sleep uh, function being here, but it ended. And uh, we get this message at the end, size of example.t is 24. We could even count the number of characters if we want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this counted as three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, two, three, four. Nice. And then end of file was reached, so it ended the program. Nice. So just a little um a little thing like unsigned car. Uh, completely ruin this program, but we change it to an int, which can be a negative number, and uh, yeah, the while loop was ended. That's it.